partially seen here, but that's something that we've seen time and time again all throughout history. So I just say we love our brother. Uh, we're going to end exactly what the hell has been going on, and we're going to end it now. Because I don't care if you're a blood or a crib, you're my brother. And we're going to end that. But we need to understand that there is a bigger enemy that continues to keep this feud going. We're going to point out the enemy is. We're going to make sure we're bringing the justice all the way. He, he actually tweeted beforehand, uh, it's good to have strong enemies. What did you make of, of that? I saw that too. <laughs> Nipsey was not a stupid individual by far. His brother was very intelligent. He was highly intelligent. And because of this, he knew certain climates that were being involved in certain uh, things were going on around him. So for him to say that it's good to have strong enemies, yes, in one way it is because it helps you to see what you're made of as a man or as a woman or as a person. So he became strong because he came from a hard environment just like all the rest of us. And he knew what he was made of, so he knew that if he had strong enemies, it would help to encourage him to keep building himself up as a man for his community. So that's now, uh, how is he going to be remembered and what, what would you say to his fans? In my opinion, Nipsey will be remembered as a hood savior, as a powerful young prince who came out of the hood, but then he came back to the hood to revolutionize the hood. He was one of the only ones to step out, make the money, get the bag, and then bring the bag back to the hood. And that's what he will be remembered for. Every artist needs to do the same damn thing and stop acting as though it's better outside of your own damn hood. That's what he's going to be remembered for, and that's what we love all I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, brother, I appreciate you on that. Yeah, we're going to keep this going, man. We, <laughs> we don't have no more time for this, man. Brother, I just got one. Yes, sir. You know he's going to do a documentary about their consent. Yes. Do you think that had anything going on right now? My question is, was it gang-related, as they're trying to say, or was it government? I'll, I'll tell you the facts on this. Yes, sir. It was the enemy yes, sir. using gang members yes, to sir. try to make it seem as though it was gang related. Yes, okay? I got the information from his family. Yes, it was not regarding the documentary yes, because sir. the pharmaceutical industry has been exposed thoroughly. Yes, but they, can, they will continue to be exposed. However, like I said, it was the enemy doing this because they've been practicing military drills in downtown LA yes, for a couple months now, and they need a justifiable reason so do you think to bring down the National Guard. Of course. We have not had a major gang war in a long time, yes, so they don't have a reason to bring down the National Guard. But yes, if they can incite a war, which yes, this will do that, right. then they can have a justifiable reason to bring down the National Guard to once again say, oh, black folks are still trouble. Look at these bullets and these crypts. Terrible because we have what we, we woken up, we got children out here now. Yes, a lot of us understand okay, we bloods and crisp, but we, we gotta go to work, we gotta yes, eat, sir. and so it's not like it used to be. But that's something that they needed a reason for, which is bring down the National Guard to lock us all up. And and also genocidally murder a large group of us as well. So what's some advice you would get a community right now on how, how we should move, sir? Do not retaliate against your brother and sister right now. Yes, sir. Don't do that shit no more. Because not any of us out here did this to one another. Do not do that anymore. The government has a very good way of turning a black man against a black woman, and a black woman against herself, and a black man against himself and his own people, and a brown man against his own people. Do not fall into the same trick. That's, that's all I'm saying. Right now, you got to come together. That's the point. You got to come together. Right now, this is what Brother Nipsey would want us to do. Come together. Come together. Black, brown, blood, crip. The original purpose of a crip, community resistance in progress. It was the community coming together to resist white supremacy and particularly racist white police officers. That's what the, the origin of the crips were. So it ain't got nothing to do with us killing one another. If we do that, then they will be all out here like they already are doing right now. Slave patrolling. Us right. slaves, okay. and they will lock all of us here, up. Sir. I don't see one, one brother. No, of course, like, chill, of course not. Be like, yo, Of course not. You feel me? That is another Where's psychological game because, because they want you to see that. Oh, look, look at here. No yeah. black officers. Well, hey, we must be your friends. We are here to save you. We're your savior. And they, they occupy, they, of they, course. They, 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 they are an occupying force. We know this. They need to stop that. We know this, of yeah. course. They shot my rock wall. See, because I was filming their butt. I'll just say this, brother. 
and stop, stop filming so much and put the no, phones down and do film. more. I'm going to say that. Wrong. Of course, have one, have the person with the weakest the punch, the person with the weakest punch, have them with the camera, and then you handle oh, business. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. see a brother putting his hands on a black woman, right. handle business. Right. If you see a police officer doing something right. wrong, at least stand up and say right. something, right. because right. the moment we do this, less of this will happen. Very simple, brother. We have to stop being so afraid of dying. Stop being afraid of dying. What the hell is it? Of course, brother, it's okay. Young niggas, they want to die for popping perkies. Look, man. Overdosing on lean. The time, the time is over. That's what I'm saying. Black officers. Time is over. Because they they arrest the young ones when they're like 10 and 12 years old. I'm not concerned, brother. So they can't. So they can't. I'm not concerned about a slave patroller doing his job. I'm concerned about my people not doing our job. And that's the one thing we need to get under our belt. Of course. Of course. Of course. If we police ourselves, we don't need them to police us. That's the point. We don't need black officers in our neighborhood. Yes, sir. Appreciate my brother. Absolutely. Big on these cowards videotaping old women. Oh, yeah, brother. That's what I'm saying. The same situation is going to continue to happen until we do something about it. It's very simple. It's very simple. That's all I'm saying, brother. Yes, sir. I'm bringing out, brother. That's what we need to do. And hard time when they shot the rock. Oh, yes, sir. That was, oh, yeah, yeah. That was me. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? This stuff right here got to stop. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, it will. Then, and then he was a positive brother. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. That's, you know what that's why. And see, and see, when you're positive, that's the ones that go. Absolutely. You know, they, they have, have to. the old crazy ones to still be out here on the street. When you when you right. look like you are a slave, right? Then they, get, then they got new niggas that's, that, that's Hispanics that's police. You know what I'm saying? Brother, See, they used to have us, but now they got Hispanics doing what we used to do. I wouldn't want to work for them. The enemy's going to have where they want to work for them, brother. That's all right, though. It's going to yes, always sir. change. The first Absolutely. shall be last, and the last shall be first. Yes, sir. Oh, he wants to know what happened. Oh, you said he wants to know what happened? Yeah. What happened? Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nipsey that's Hussle why he's here. Was murdered. Yeah, everyone. He was why? murdered. And we don't why? know why entirely. But it was they killed him. And they had their own reason. But we know that the government has a bigger reason as to why they allowed that to happen. So this is something that has to stop gang violence. It's something that's a part of it. Um, the U.S. government and the police and how they operate is a part of it. Envy and jealousy is a part of it. You know, so that's what happened here. But I, I want you to understand, we're going to get down to the bottom of it. We're going to stop doing this. We need to come together as family. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. All right. That's why he's here. I'm Jose. That's why he's here. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you as well. So, brother Jose, right here. Jose. <laughs> yeah, man. That's why he's here. And he brought his flowers, but I don't he think he. Flowers. That's okay. He'll, he'll be able to when they when they take the tape off. He'll be able to go lay him down and. Yeah, but he's gone. Yeah, I know. They Where have is him. He? They're letting you, he's, he was at the hospital. Oh. But they said he. They, they reported right after he was shot. Soon He's not there anymore. No. No. But this should be a message to all of us right now. This should wake us all up right now. There's nothing else we got to say, man. Stop the hate. Oh, we, got, we have to. Right? We have to, yeah. We're not each other's enemy. That's the point. We're really not. The, the enemy is the same one who's been doing the same thing to all of us from the beginning since we got here. It's the same one. My brother, how you doing? How you got caught in this? Yeah, brother, Mitzi. Mitzi's gone, bro. Yeah, he, he's gone, man. But you know, we're going to keep... We, hey, we're going to make it happen. You turn this anger into unity and watch it happen. I follow you. I noticed, like, like this brother and some other brothers that are, you guys are on a hand to your level and something. You guys have serious disagreements. I've, I've seen some of the, the, you know, you guys have serious disagreements. But I would like to see, I'd like to see, I'd like, you may know who I'm talking about, but not, but I'd like to see you guys. And whatever the, whatever the, the disagreements are that you guys have had, I can't speak specifically to the exact point right now. Because my mind, I can't recall the exact video that 
you know what I'm saying? But I'd like to see whomever that you have serious disagreements with, politically speaking, on concepts and things like that, I'd like to see you guys. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't have any with anyone, actually. It's, uh, there, there was one, and I've already reached out to him, and we have each other's numbers, so whenever he wants to do something, that's already open. But everybody else, we have one on the same page. Yeah, because I, yeah, same because thing. I, I, I just hate to see strong brothers I think like yes. said, with the knowledge. That's yes. the thing. Yes. With knowledge. Yes. Like That's there's the this guy, um, I don't know if you heard of him, you probably have, but um, he has a cult mm -hmm. in another country. The point is, is um, people go, go to him go for leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, they debate fight and they're, they're brothers with knowledge and that, that's Absolutely. the point it's and just, that's just and that's what we're going to change you know that's that's something that i changed totally i'm push i push unity that's what i push all day long because sure. this right here this is reality right here. yeah this is what you get yeah. you understand the moment you keep divided against your people this is what you get that's what we get yeah. and he's our responsibility that's the point. There's I mean, the conversation of, of people mentioned, you know, that there was a post where someone, where someone was saying, you know what I'm saying? Yes. There's a feeling in the air amongst all of us. Yes. You know, that, yeah. You know. Yeah, but you know what, brother? When we get that feeling about the next, you know, the next influencer that's going to come our way, we, we have to act on that, that feeling fast. It's our, it's our time. You're absolutely right. And that's why it's our time to unite come together, protect one another, and separate from the system and do something for ourselves. That's all it is. It's really that simple. There's no more arguing, no more. It's like, no, no, no. We are not free yet as a people. Come together, unite, pull your resources, do something for your damn self. Everybody else has their own everything. <clears throat> except for us. So I don't have, I don't, I'm not arguing with no black men about nothing. Either you get with you, not even come together and do something for us, or you can leave, you can miss me with that. Get the hell out of my way. Just get out the way. Let's just get out the way. You go do your thing. You stay over there. Whether you wear a blue rag or a red rag, you know, my brother. I grew up in the, in the crib family. You know, I saw. I grew up I in the crib family. I remember I saw an image of, of him, uh, mm -hmm. of Nipsey, and, and, and he had, you know, he had some bloods with him, and, and, you know, he, you know, yeah. and it was, it was linked up. It was yeah. literally linked yeah. up, and I was like, yeah, was see, he's, start, he's, he's moving in the right direction. Nipsey when I saw brother. that, I was like, uh huh. He follows Farrakhan, brother. He started to understand. He's a good brother. That's why he came back to the hood. He gave back to the hood. Like, oh, I'm done with this nonsense. I'm going to give back. I'm going to do what I can do. Build a store in the hood. He was bringing back uh, technology for computer right. engineering to the hood. He, started, he was getting a lot of people jobs. Brother was put a lot of people on. Yes. <laughs> he was educating people on finance. Oh, yeah. Brother was smart. Flip things. He was smart. He was not a dumb brother at all. He was very intelligent. So that's that's why we, uh, we, we had, had to start to use that example and do the same thing. Use this as an example. He, he ain't an attorney. Damn. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's, Father. It's, it's very real. But see, that's our family. We gotta take care. That's what it's about, being a community. We gotta, we gotta take care of them. We gotta take care of one another. Oh, they're trying to come through. They're trying to come through. So, yeah, brother Tariq, we're going to. Um, when do you plan on. That's, that's so live, right? Still for you. Yeah, we're going to do it right now, man. We're going to do it right now. This was a good one. Before I came out here. Okay, yeah, this looking real good. Yeah, brother. Everything happens on time. Yeah. I'm going to head out because I'm going to see the family as well. I'm about to go to my studio and do my broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make it happen. What you doing um, in the next, this week or next week? I might have you come to the studio. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm here this week. I'm in New York, possibly, next week. So this week, just, just hit me. Oh, yes, yeah. I work with y'all inspire every day. So I'm going to see you with y'all. They're going to be like, okay, we on the right track. And God is good. I'm the brother. That's what we're here for. My two brothers. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you making it happen. We got uh, outreach and lowering the recidivism rate by teaching kids life skills and stuff like that, working in juvenile justice, oh, yeah. like that, creating opportunities when they can.
get out so they have a leg up, you know what I'm saying? They know what they can do as yeah, opposed yeah. to like going back and not knowing that's people care about them. Oh, that's just one, one of the main things. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's called Spirit Awakening Foundation. That's one of the Spirit Awakening. Spirit, spirit Awakening. Awakening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look that up. Yeah, so you don't think it's enemy. It's all of all. You know what I'm saying? That's just one of the main things. I'm going to know personally to the documentary. Nipsey never got the official story from the family. Yes, sir. He wanted to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The family wanted to do that. Oh, no. He wanted to do a documentary, but the family is not who we reached out to entirely for the full story. So he wanted to do it, but he was never officially working on the full documentary. But, um, yeah, so it's all, it is a part of it. But at the same time, what he was doing for the community directly was very dangerous for the enemy. You got these young brothers, you got a brother who makes it out of the hood, comes back to the hood and builds up the hood. That is a powerful example. And disseminates that message. Oh yeah. Not just and starts it. educating everybody on how to do it. You you mean to tell me you're gonna shake up my plantation and free my slaves like this? You're gonna tell them how to get free? No. Shaking the oh, system no. up, shaking the system. No. That's not a that's not a good thing. You know, but uh but we need to use this example, brother. This right here, all of our anger and our pain, use it and turn it into unity. That's it, bro. I ain't got nothing else to say about this right now. We're gonna bring this together. Yeah, man. I just want to say thank you so much for what you do for the community. Like, you are a leader yourself. I, I love the videos. Thank you. Like, you can speak the truth and just continue to show us love and light. I appreciate you. Absolutely. My name is Yasmin, by the way. But I just have, like, I have to say something to you before you. That's okay, no. That's yeah. why I'm here. I'm out here with you. I'm standing here. I, I, I appreciate that. I love your work and what you're doing. That's, and that's why we gotta keep going. This, this is why we're, just when you think we're making progress, oh, okay. there they go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I wish I met you on other circumstances. I, I know, I know. I know right? Right. That's, see, this, it's always this kind of circumstance. Exactly. Always. But we're gonna change that. We're gonna change, we're gonna change that. Make sure of that. Yes, sir. Just when you think that we've made progress, which we have, the enemy has a way of coming in to remind you that you still are my nigga. Enemy does that, but we have to change this and flip it around so that we don't do this again. It's real simple. So we gotta unite after this. It don't matter. Blood, crips, we gotta come together all the way. It's nothing else that that needs to be said after this. It's really it. Yes, sir. Man, I appreciate the, the work you're doing in the community, man. I appreciate you. Zafir. Zafir? Zafir. Oh, man. That's my, my uh, teacher from that wing time. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Look, I saw him. I saw him. Yeah, trying to pull me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah man. We're going to pick you with you. Please, please. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. God willing, brother. That's, that would be an honor for him. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. I pray for that day. Can. Sir, sir. I was gonna, gonna do ad and. Oh yeah, yeah, I do uh, real estate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah let yeah. me know. Appreciate your work, man. All love, like that. Yeah, yeah, please. Let me know, brother. Our family. All right, family. So listen, I'm about to head out. Um, trying to see which corner to go to. Okay, so. Uh, all right, family, so this is what's going to happen here. We're going to try to have, right now, all the channels are pretty much saying that it was a gang-related thing. Gang-related. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, sir? I appreciate you. Man, you change our life a lot. You ain't oh, yeah? shifted, so yeah. You oh, I appreciate that, sis. Eyes in the dairy place. Yes, man. Y'all like my... Best friends in my head. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's I what I'm talking about. All my Instagram just wow. to be off when I wake up, I see y'all. It's positive. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I got a, another friend who she actually started me on the journey with. Wow. Being I appreciate people, that. You know, stuff like that. And then once I got y'all, mm -hmm. y'all such an inspiration. But y'all remind me of brothers. Wow. You know, like wow. little brothers, the ones I hang out with, the ones right. that we miss. You know? Right, right. Absolutely. So it's like. You know, and you're you from here, right? Yeah, I'm from LA, South Central, Western Yeah, so I'm from right here. You already know. And it's like, with y'all, like. Because y'all touching lives and people's lives that y'all don't even know. I appreciate that, sis. That's, that's why we do what we do. It's like, yeah. I've been going around, I tried to, uh, one day, I tried to catch him, I yeah. couldn't catch him, I just seen your life, I was like, I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, I you, oh, go. you saw it. Yeah, I, I see your life, I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> that's right. It's a car coming. Oh, I got you. Yes. Thank you. 
I appreciate you, sis. Like, what can I do? It's like I want to do so much, and I got this passion in me, and I feel it, and it's like I go to sleep like you need to do something. That's right. But it's like I don't know what's like. I'll tell you this. First off, one, you don't have to join the nation. But I advise you to go to our Sunday meeting next Sunday, public meeting, okay? Because that's where you'll meet a lot of different people, where they have organizations, groups, and we're all working together, period. Okay, we're working together in the streets with food, clothing, uh, uniting, coming together with different blood scripts, all that stuff. So that's something you can do. And you don't join a nation, you don't have to do that. But you join on to a group of people who think just like you. That's, that's something.